When you think of cartoons for kids, you probably don't expect them to be controversial. And yet, even the most wholesome of kids' shows can sometimes find themselves in hot water. Hello, guys. Today, I want to show 10 banned episodes of popular kids' shows. When you think of Arthur, controversy doesn't come to mind. However, Lance Armstrong, guest starring as himself in a season 12 episode, four years before the famed cyclist was stripped of his Tour de France victories, was enough for PBS to pull the episode. What happens when Buster, Plucky, and Hampton become heavily intoxicated? They drive off a cliff and meet their untimely end, of course. Though the episode's purpose was ironically to teach kids about the perils of underage drinking, that didn't stop the complaints from rolling in. The episode was banned after airing only one time. The controversial episode from this 90s kid show contained it all. Terrorist themes, bombs on a plane, and assassination attempts. Because of this, Disney banned the episode shortly after it aired. The musical rock opera episode from the show's fifth season had practically aired everywhere except in the United States. Many thought it was due to the episode's totalitarian undertones, but in actuality, the Cartoon Network feared the episode's strobe light effects was detrimental to kids with spasms. The first two seasons of the animated series contained the additional segment, Dial M for Monkey, about Dexter's pet lab monkey. The barbecue segment, in which we are introduced to an action hero named Silver Spoon, was eventually pulled by the Cartoon Network, who perceived the character as a gross stereotype of gay men. The episode about Peter's new friend Mahmood wasn't banned because Mahmood turned out to be a terrorist. In the wake of 2013's Boston Marathon bombings, a cutaway gag showing Peter murdering Boston Marathon runners with his car didn't seem so funny. The clip from the episode, which aired about a month before the bombings, began circulating on YouTube along with the theories that Family Guy had predicted or inspired the bombings. Seth MacFarlane wasn't pleased, and YouTube eventually removed all uploads of the clip from its service. The World Trade Center's central role in the season nine premiere episode forced Fox to pull it from their rerun rotation in light of 9-11. Red and Stimpy is a pretty violent, grotesque show by nature but this episode seemed to go a bit too far. 
The madness starts when a man named George Licker adopts Ren and Stimpy and teaches them a thing or two about obedience. Ren breaks down and eventually brutally beats his new owner's face with a paddle. Here's a lesson. Networks don't take plots associated with weight gain and a loss of popularity very well. Throughout the show's eight seasons, the MTV series has been blamed for everything from a child's death by fire to animal cruelty. But this one, an episode in which the particular characters get high from sniffing paint thinner, really seems to hit home. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Watch more.